Well, hello there, humans, bees, earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and whoever you're lucky enough to be doing it to. I'm Bush Gone Blitz, and I'm here today to begin what I think is a new and important series uh, based around a bit of a primer for those of you who are new to the game. Now, recently, there's been a tremendously large amount going on in the game itself. Uh, we've had a lot of new people come to the game, and that's great, and it's excellent, and it's lovely. One of the things it isn't is easy. If you've just kicked the game off, uh, you're gonna struggle with a lot of the concepts and a lot of the tactical things that go on. Now, I've got a lot of videos, but I've got 670 videos, and you don't even know what you're looking for, and you're just starting. So this is for you guys out there who've never come to terms with something like Blitz on a mobile device before, and it's very complex, and it can have a very steep learning curve, and I want to cut down that learning curve and make it easier for you. So this is part of a four video series. The first one is going to be hull down, uh, how we go hull down, why we go hull down, and what you need to do to be able to go hull down. Secondly is going to be side scraping, how, why, where, and when. Uh, thirdly, we're going to talk about camouflage and some more advanced tactics there. And fourthly, we're going to talk about your loadouts on your tanks, why you have particular loadouts, and the minutia, the, the little details that you need to know to be successful. Hull down, what is it? Why is it and where is it? Well, to understand hull down, you have to understand a couple of really key concepts. One of them is gun depression. Um, gun depression is when you depress your gun over the front or side or rear of your tank and it points down from the center mass of the tank. Uh, and certain tanks are very good at it. This is the Comet. The Comet is a very good tank for gun depression. Uh, it has 12 degrees of gun depression. And what that enables you to do is to creep up to a area like this. And you can see across the top of that railway line there is a flat level area. In line with the top of that railway line is the gun. It's pointing out that direction there. If you want to shoot targets that are lower than the gun, i.e. that are actually underneath your tank, you can do that with gun depression. And that's cool. Why would you do that? Well, because when you're actually shooting targets like that, and you can see here, I'm going to show you the angle. If you've got a 12 degree gun depression tank like the Comet, you can shoot targets 12 degrees underneath your gun which is pretty bloody cool because when you do that, you only expose this very small section of your armor profile here. And that's really important because when you're exposing a very, very small section of your armor profile, you're exposing a limited target. Now let's have a quick look over here in Armor Inspector at another tank, which I'm gonna show you some examples using uh, the T-30. The T-30 is a tank that has a very, very poor armor profile on its hull. Now, one of the reasons we call this hull down is because you hide this area here, the weak hull part of the armor, where you have an effective armor that ranges between 157 and 123, and even lower in parts. But the armor up here is 189 and 243 and 279 and 584, and it's very, very strong. And the T-30 also has 10 degrees of gun depression. And you can see the gun depressing down 10 degrees there. And that's really valuable because you're able to do things like this, which the Comet is doing right now. And I'm gonna show you why that looks so cool by going forward here and actually illustrating what it looks like from the other side. Cue up the Black Claw. He's rolling forward. Oh, look, he can shoot me. All I can see of his tank is that tiny little slither of turret at the top. And it's a very hard shot to hit when you're on the move and things are happening all around you. And it limits his exposure. Now that is going hull down. You use this on tanks predominantly that have good gun depression to get shots in on tanks that otherwise would absolutely wreck you. Like my Centurion 7 and 1 would destroy his Comet. Let's have a look at this in actuality. And I'm going to show you that by showing you this T30 video. Now, the T30, as I mentioned before, has a very, very strong turret and a very, very weak lower glacis. I'm in a game, and you can see straight away, I get two bounces there on my turret. But if they had shots at my lower glacis, I'll get hit. 
well, I get hit. I won't always get pinned because that guy hit the side at a very, very poor angle. Being hull down isn't necessarily just a high tier thing. And it's one of the reasons why you want to find out and use apps like Armor Inspector to actually investigate gun depression so you and turret strengths and, and all those kind of things. Because once you start putting yourself in positions where, see, that IS-7 just smashed my lower glacis uh, because I got a very, very weak hull. He was able to absolutely annihilate me. What I want to be doing is taking shots on my turret and giving out shots with my gun and then not taking damage in return. So we're gonna go and show you that right now. Here we go, we're going up the hill. Now, remember our little look at the Comet. There is the ridge line. This is why these tanks are also called ridge fighters. And we're gonna move up and that ridge line is now no longer there. <laughs> okay, see this little part of the screen here. This is interesting. Um, I'm going to take this back a little bit and this is something you need to understand see this line here with the little triangle underneath it and see where the aiming reticle is here that line shows you how far down your gun can shoot in the current position now that lets you tell exactly where you are looking on the screen and how far down you can hit the target now this is not stuff that is included uh, in the play-by-play -play when you start the game. And it's important stuff. And again, I am hull down. You're gonna see me roll forward here and just look for a shot. I'm gonna have to extend up just a little bit. The Jag Panzer 100 is looking at me, but there is no one that can actually hit my turret, which is a very, very strong turret. Um, I'm gonna get rid of the slow-mo there, obviously. And that's really important. And it's part of the game that is absolutely underutilized. And we're gonna move things along here to another section of the map. And it's one of the reasons why you're gonna see a tank like the T-30 do very, very well on slight inclines and ridges. And I'm looking to get shots again without exposing my lower glacis. Just remember, the lower part of my armor profile is the weakest, so I'm hiding it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is hull down. Now, there are various ways of going hull down. It is not always just tanks with gun depression that can go hull down. And I'm gonna to get to that in a moment because this is a little more advanced, but it's very, very simple once you think about it. And let's roll forward here, I'll show you another example uh, of the T-30 going hull down. I've got lots of video footage of the T-30 going hull down. Here we go. So there's a grill, he's coming around the corner, uh, I am looking for a shot. I'm gonna roll forward. There are a lot of targets out there on the left. I'm behind a bush, we'll ignore that for the moment because we're talking about camouflage in the third video and we will get to that and it will be very, very important. But I wanna make these as simple as possible. Uh, and you can see, here comes the grill. He's gonna roll forward around the corner and as he rolls forward, I'm gonna move forward, take the shot, kill the grill and pull back and the E100 is gonna have a shot at me now. He has a very, very high pen, big damage gun, and it lands right on the toughest part of my armor profile, and we take no damage. And that's exactly what you're trying to do. Gun depression and going hull down can be used in all kinds of situations. I'm on a bridge miles above that FV215B183, but he can absolutely not see any part of my tank. Likewise, this T54E1, if he wants to hit me, is going to have to hit my turret and I'm gonna to have to get lovely clear shots and I back up and he has no shots at me. That's gun depression. That's going hull down. What about if we have a tank that doesn't have a lot of gun depression? Namely, an object 140. When you're in an object 140, you are using a Russian tank and it is a medium tank and yet it's able to go hull down. Why and how? Well, this is very, very simple. It's got six degrees of gun depression, so it can't look over a ridge and poke its gun down. What it can do though, which is much more difficult, is come out sideways so that the line of this ridge right here is in line with the armor of the tank. And the only part that pokes above the ridge is the turret. And the turret, while not amazingly strong, is strong enough and low enough to the ground to be a very, very difficult target to hit at 288 meters, which is what that grill is at at the moment. And then I pull back 
and I'm very, very successful. I go back, you can see that 215B, he's sitting there. Look at all the shots hitting the ground in front of my position here, or hitting my target, my turret, but not actually touching my tank. I'm absorbing huge amounts of contact from the enemy team, and I'm not taking any damage, well, very, very limited damage, while drawing huge amounts of fire and putting shots into these guys over there. And that's because I'm moving constantly backwards and forwards and using this ridge line here to go hull down. Look at that 215B. He's doing exactly what I'm talking about there. This is the line of the ridge that he is behind. This is his turret. And there's only one very, very minor weak point that we can see there, which is that area there on his tank. And to hit that, I'll have to slow my tank right down and I'll get hit while I'm doing it because he's aiming directly at me. So he's not really a good target for me. I'm gonna leave him alone. I will use, uh, I will hit that tank if I have to, but for the most part, I'm just gonna leave him be until he's a much easier target. Um, I'm not gonna take a long time to aim in at him. And that's two tanks going hull down, even though neither of them has particularly good gun depression. And I am just moving backwards and forwards using auto aim, completely living the dream. That's how to go hull down, guys. That's how gun depression works. That's why you get to know your tanks. You get to use certain tanks. Uh, and you can do that by getting an app like Armor Inspector, which is an excellent app. And I upgraded it and paid for the, the version that um, you, know, you get to see everything. Because then you can tell whether your T30 is going to be able to survive hull down versus say another tier nine tank if they can hit it in the turret like the m103 can we survive what about if they use uh apcr well there's a weak point there so we know how strong your turret is we know the armor values of the tanks we know the gun depression of the tanks all these kind of things and they're what makes the difference between winning and losing it's why you get experienced players like me who've had forty thousand battles and can hop in a tank and dust you up, even though you may have very, very good hand-eye coordination, I know more about the game than you. So learn this stuff, get better, and be happier with your playing. I'm Bushcron Blitz. Make sure you subscribe, and until next time, stay safe on the battlefield.